You have seen beyond the scope of the serried masses, and into the depths of the strange and uncanny truth that lies beyond. Welcome to the Authority. All humans fear things, but among the most universal the concept that fills us with dread and terror is the unknown. We exist in a constant quest to know, so that whatever lies beyond our comprehension cannot harm us. The Authority, by contrast, dives into that darkness and takes it to pieces to see what makes it work. We are the explorers who plumb the depths of the bazaar, the guards who protect against the unnatural, and the builders who construct the barriers that hold back the impossible. For centuries, the Authority has protected the great masses of humanity from the anomalies and entities that would consciously or otherwise seek to do it harm. Our mandate is international and extends to the stars above. Agents of the Authority are active in every nation and land of this earth working in cooperation with their peers and with our various sister organizations to maintain normalcy or the semblance of thereof whenever possible. Our powers are not infinite. Our reach is not omnipresent. Our will to research and protect and contain, however, is as boundless as the human spirit. Mankind must remain ignorant of our existence. Though we act within a community of peers of different cultural and political alignments, our unifying goal has always been and will always remain to act as the mankind's bulwark against the strange, the impossible, and the corrupting. We stand firm so that chaos and madness cannot triumph. What you've just heard was a letter. A letter that presented us insight into the RPC Authority, its universe, and its puzzling objectives. But what is exactly the RPC Authority? The RPC Authority is an international extra-governmental organization that research, protects, and contains paranatural entities and objects known as RPCs. However, due to their very nature, they operate in secrecy and work to suppress, destroy, or understand anomalies that can have harmful effects on human society, culture, thought, and existence. There are three aims that the Authority upholds as their principal objectives. Research, protection, and containment. These are its mottos, its divisions, and missions as an organization, to research the anomaly, to protect the anomaly, and to contain the anomaly. While there are some who believe that the RPC Authority, which can be interpreted and abbreviated as RPCA, has a fourth division indicated by the letter A. There is some truth to the fact, but the letter A specified is not the case. The letter A is often associated with administration, as in the administration division, However, officially and in lore, they are referred to as the Presidium. This specific institution within the Authority are the individuals and departments that govern all aspects of the organization, from diplomacy to financial affairs. So, if the Presidium is the management level that oversees all aspects and activity, who is the person that leads the Presidium and the Authority? Well, it's not a man nor a woman, but in fact a group of individuals with diverse backgrounds, culture, and skills, and they are the Global Directorate. Other names include the Board of Directors, the Global Directors, and the Directorate. For classified reasons, I'm not authorized to divulge any pertinent detail relating to them, but what I am able to disclose is that there are 12 Global Directors in the Directorate, three being divisional and the other nine being regional representatives. The three divisional representatives include the Scholar, the Commander, and the Architect. Each three lead the Research, Protection, and Containment divisions, respectively, and have some swaying on organization matters. However, they would need the influence of the other nine regional representatives, that include the Global Directors of North, South, West, East, Africa, Eurasia, Asia, Oceania, and Antarctica. RPC stands for the motto of the organization, but when it comes to the anomalous as the subject, it is referred to as Registered Phenomena Code. This is to refer to an anomalous classification number that is listed within the RPC database, ranging from RPC 001 to RPC <coughs> They are the center point to all organizational efforts in containing and suppressing their existence from public awareness. However, it is important to understand that not all RPCs that are contained or are under a constant observation are dangerous. But nonetheless, such encounters or interactions are to be taken with caution. With the organization of the RPC Authority explained, what is their relations with national governments? Well, it's complicated. The Authority as a whole, whilst existing since the 1830s, has a long, friendly, and complicated relationship. Majority of the world governments rely on the Authority to maintain normalcy, but there are those out there that are anti-authority. Some anti-authority nations include China, Russia, and the United States, albeit often relying on the authority on certain matters. 
In cases where nations don't rely on the authority, they instead prefer the deployment of their own organization like authority known as agencies of interest. As suggested, they are agencies that are sanctioned by their governments and carry out the same duties as the authority counterparts and often operate outside their borders. Most of these AOIs are not as advanced as the Authority, and some examples include the People's Committee for the Acquisition of Anomalous Objects, the Ministry of Paranormality, and the Joint Task Force Occult. There are those, however, that are not sanctioned by their respective governments, as they are referred to as groups of interest by the Authority. These groups of interest do not adhere to established laws, but follow their own interest, volition, principles, and extreme cases to a specific ideology or religion. Examples include the Church of Maltus, the Kabushiki Kawaii, oh god, and the Righteous Central Protection Authority. What's interesting about the RCPA specifically is that they are a parallel version of the RPC Authority, originating from an alternate reality that is currently ruling their own world through the use of anomalies. While I may consider exploring more deeply into the RPC universe in this video, I'm planning on releasing them separately into future content. But for now, I'll leave you with a quote from Professor Brutenholm from Hellboy. There are things that go bump in the night, but we are the ones who bump back.